The Prayer of Manasseh, King of Judah, when he was holding captive in Babylon. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by David Gabriel Champ, Auburn, Alabama. The Prayer of Manasseh, King of Judah when he was holden captive in Babylon. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of their righteous seed, who hast made heaven and earth with all the ornament thereof, who hast bound the sea by the word of thy commandment, who hast shut up the deep and sealed it by thy terrible and glorious name, whom all men fear and tremble before thy power, for the majesty of thy glory cannot be borne, and thy angry threatening towards sinners is importable. But thy merciful promise is unmeasurable and unsearchable, for thou art the most high Lord of great compassion, long-suffering, very merciful, and repentest of the evils of men. Thou, O Lord, according to thy great goodness, hast promised repentance and forgiveness to them that have sinned against thee and of thine infinite mercies hast appointed repentance unto sinners, that they may be saved. Thou, therefore, O Lord, that art the God of the just, hast not appointed repentance to the just, as to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, which have not sinned against thee. But thou hast appointed repentance unto me, that am a sinner. For I have sinned above the number of the sands of the sea. My transgressions, O Lord, are multiplied. My transgressions are multiplied, and I am not worthy to behold and see the height of heaven for the multitude of mine iniquities. I am bowed down with many iron bands that I cannot lift up mine head, neither have any release, for I have provoked thy wrath and done evil before thee. I did not thy will, neither kept I thy commandments. I have set up abominations and have multiplied offences. Now, therefore, I bow the knee of mine heart, beseeching thee of grace. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I acknowledge mine iniquities. Wherefore I humbly beseech thee, forgive me, O Lord, forgive me, and destroy me not with mine iniquities. Be not angry with me for ever, by reserving evil for me. Neither condemn me into the lower parts of the earth, for thou art the God even the God of them that repent. And in me thou wilt shew all thy goodness, for thou wilt save me that am unworthy, according to thy great mercy. Therefore I will praise thee for ever all the days of my life, for all the powers of the heavens do praise thee, and thine is the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thus ends the prayer of Manassas king of Judah.